Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another comic book haul video. And um, what I wanted to show you, I just got a package, a fairly large box. Let me pull this up. It's basically a short box. Okay. And the guy, you know, went to, I guess, Home Depot and bought the box and threw all the comic books in here. And... Um, what I mentioned in the past is uh, that usually uh, the way it works is uh, I do try to look for really good deals on eBay, usually in January and February. That's a couple of months that I do actually actively look on eBay because it's after the holiday season. So a lot of people are tapped out and you can usually get pretty good deals and you can usually find people uh, collectors that are getting rid of some of their collection maybe new year's cleaning or whatever it is right and i ended up um, finding someone that's getting that was getting rid of some of their some of their books and one thing we did during a previous live stream session is uh, i showed you guys how i surf ebay and how i end up finding the books that i do find right one thing i believe i forgot to mention during that uh, you know live session twitch session where we went through ebay and i showed you that stuff one thing i believe i forgot to do was to let you know that i actually some of the searches whenever you search on ebay you know things pop up but towards the top you, there's a little button usually available that says follow this this search so i do have searches that i follow and just a handful of those i have emails being sent to me from ebay uh, showing me new listings and stuff right so all of the comic books that we got from this haul I basically found because an email came to me from one of the searches that I follow from a complete lot it's quantum and woody and I'm always looking for quantum and woody sets if I can get them at a good deal right especially the early uh, the first appearance the first run which i've only been able to get one set that we did a comic book haul video on where i showed you you know i got the complete set and i did pick up another partial set as well but basically i look for quantum and woody uh, and that's one of the searches that i have because what i found out is people who have complete runs of quantum and woody they're in general sometimes the ones i've gotten anyway they're collectors and they tend to have collections other collections i'm also interested in right so keep this in mind if you're searching on ebay when you follow a search put a type of search that you want to follow where if it's a complete run or if it's a single issue the person putting up putting up that comic book or the company or the uh, store that's putting up that comic book might also have collections other collections that you might be interested in okay so that's what we're going to look at right now it's a collection or a bunch of lots that i was able to get my hands on from a search that came to me from one of the searches that i follow from quantum and woody and you can guess there's quantum and woody on here okay and one other thing i want to let you know before we get in before we crack open the box what i'm also doing for this video is i'm also live streaming this shoot on twitch and one of the reasons i'm doing this is because i've had a lot of people ask me about some of the equipment that i end up using and some of the setup that i end up doing and stuff like this you know i've mentioned to people you know what the sound system i'm using which is extremely you know low low budget i ended up getting this lapel mic for like 15 dollars or something i bought a you know four of them just to make sure i have them for a while and i you know open box camera we talked about that and stuff like this but basically i've done a little upgrade uh, with my hardware and my software right to kick it up a notch with the live stream so i'm doing a little test run um so one of the reasons i'm doing this live stream of this comic book haul video is to show you guys the type of setups that i'm using and the type of setup that i'm going to start using and sort of you know share with you as much as i can as much as i learn really um as we sort of grow this to you know incorporate multiple angles into our our videos especially when we go into the kitchen when we start doing some um some food videos cooking videos and incorporate that with recipes and mathematics and 
especially do some mathematics videos with different angles and different cameras and right now the best i can do with this setup right now is have and i have a fairly big mic here for the live stream if you do i will be loading on the live stream after this video comes up but you'll see the mic that i've bought and there's a couple of cameras on either side of me that are doing a live stream right now okay so that's my sort of long-winded intro to this comic book haul video because i'm sort of doing a um uh, doing a test run and sort of layering my work as i mentioned that i like to do right and there's a couple more people have joined on the live stream <laughs> three cameras three cameras brother so there's people commenting on live stream so i'm just replying to the comments so every now and then i'm going to check back to the live stream just to see if anybody has any questions regarding the comic book haul video okay so let's crack this uh this baby open i'm excited to get this is some some stuff that i want to read here and um it's some stuff i already have and i think uh, uh there were there were amazing buys for me and i wanted to get more of them right so let's crack this open i'm not going to lift up the box again let me, sh let me show it to you i think i showed this box in the live stream i didn't show it since we started recording but this is the box that we have okay and i'm gonna crack this open Oop. let's do this apologies i have to apologize to the live stream people because the mic that i have here right now is very sensitive so i'm guessing the sound of me cracking this open is coming out pretty loud okay nice package very nice packaging i just cracked open the top of this and the guy's done a fantastic job packaging this okay <laughs> stuff nice he just had a comment on twitch saying someone's watching from the uk tink 10 um mentioned that they like what i do so thank you very much for uh, for being here uh fun to share fun to share look at this package okay i definitely have to show you guys how this guy has packaged his uh, his comic books because they're phenomenal packaging this is the this is the way i like i like the packages to come to me take a look at this now if you're selling comic books and if you're getting comic books this is the ideal way you want your stuff package right i bought a few different lots from the guy and he's bubble wrapped each package and cardboarded each package like another layer of cardboard within each package okay fantastic job <laughs> fantastic job And this was uh, his private collection. He's just a, uh, he's a collector that's selling some of his comics, right? Now, let's, you know, he hasn't listed which one these are. So I've opened up the eBay listings that I won. Okay. And um, as we crack these open, right? Beautiful packaging. Look at this. Fantastic full respect to anyone that treats comics like this right so let's crack this up let's see what we got here i wonder if i can pull it out take a look or is it locked in oh it's locked in okay because what they do to make sure that the stuff doesn't move around uh it could be actually just here let's check it out sometimes people put tapes on the bags that the comic books are in on the middle so they uh so they hold on to the cardboard that's in there as well right so they don't even move around very much which is a good idea right but makes it a little bit harder to uh, grab the books right and you have to be a little bit careful when you're breaking the tapes right so that joined on, uh, on Twitch as well. Oh, it's definitely locked in. Okay. 
I'm gonna crack open the bubble wrap. Apologies about the sound. Got them wrapped on the side here too. So let's see what we got. Look at this. Are you serious? Like we don't need the cutter anymore. I don't think so anyway. This is, uh, so this one is, uh, I wrote down the comic book halls and who the artists and stuff are on this, right? Because uh, uh, most of these writers I know, uh, half of the artists I know, I know that I've read stuff off, um, most of the writers I know, basically. So basically, uh, this one is uncanny avengers okay and it's the full set of reminders uncanny avengers okay rick reminder and as you know uh and the artist for this is uh john cassidy and as you know i've mentioned rick reminder before he does um i did a full-on recommendation for tokyo ghost and he does deadly class and he's done low i believe i believe i wrote down is it no no low is um Oh, I think does Rick Remender do low? I don't know, but basically Deadly Class, Tokyo Ghost, and uh, Black Science, right? And he's done a lot of work for um, Image. Okay, he's done a lot of work for Marvel, a lot of a lot of work uh, for DC as well. So this is number eight, and this was the full set, okay, of Rick Remender's Uncanny Avengers. Okay, and these are supposed to be in mint condition one thing i do need to open up though i need to open up because i put a little uh, <laughs> little uh, uh, spreadsheet together to listing the prices basically the same way we did our first comic book haul video right so let me crack that open the spreadsheet and here's the spreadsheet right so i grabbed the uncanny avengers number uh, the uncanny avengers from 2012 right the first volume of uncanny avengers um from 2012 it contained issues number one to 25 plus the annual all in near mint condition okay so it's the full uncanny avengers for uh, for reminders run the first run that came on 2012 and I bought them for uh, $25, right? So they came out to, and that was $25 Canadian, by the way. So everything I bought was in Canadian prices. And I've in the spreadsheet, I've set up a little uh, conversion column to, in US prices. So it came out basically if you, one Canadian dollar is worth 80 cents US, which it is right now. Um, it, I bought the full run of Uncanny Avengers, Rick Renders Uncanny Avengers for $20 US. Okay, and it includes the annual, so 26 issues, which basically came out to 77 cents a pop, right? Near mint copies, and these look like to be amazing copies, okay? I'm not gonna crack any of them open right now. So that was number eight. This is number nine, right? And it's Rick and I don't know this, this run very, very well. Here's number 10. Here's number 11. Hopefully this is coming out on the Twitch live stream as well. Let's see. Is it coming out? Yeah, it's coming out. My little cameras are 
a uh, little bit too big, I think. Hello, Chicho. Hello, chat. Rick Remender does low. Yeah, that's right. Rick Remender does low. I read the first volume of uh, low. Fantastic, beautiful artwork. Low is absolutely the artwork for low is mind-boggling. It's fantastic, right? And I don't know this run, uh, but I love Rick Remender's work. Deadly Class is absolutely fantastic. I read some of the early issues, but I haven't read it for a long, long time. Uh, I'm still collecting it. Okay. So this isn't, you know, I bought all 25, and this is a smaller package. So here's these guys, right? And this goes from 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, right? Here's number 19. Okay. Beautiful. Let's see if we can find. Here, let's put this guy. I can put this guy here. Okay, now that we know how to open these packages, let's open up another one. Hopefully, we get the rest of the Uncanny Avengers. Okay. Actually, let me open up the bubble wrap first. Again, apologies for the sound. So the trick is to take out the bubble wrap first. Easily done. And so to open up the top part, okay, I sort of lay this down so the comics, because in the bag they loose, right? So they shift around the bag, which is okay thing, because if they were tied up in the bag, I might end up cutting the comics I don't want to do. So I'm weighing this down. So up here, when I cut with a knife, right, there's no danger of cutting the comic books. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna cut the side. Come on. There we go. That should be enough. We won't crack anything open right now. Um, I haven't bought from the seller before, but I talked with him. Uh, and this is nice. I'm going to show you this. This was I was very happy to get because I don't have this one either. But with the seller, basically, I was tracking the. I got the email notice for Quantum and Woody uh, because it's a search that I follow on eBay, right? And I checked out the rest of the stuff with rest of the stuff he was selling, and I. Followed the quantum and Woody for one cycle, so that I didn't bid on it in the first round. Okay, it um, I let it go because I was tapped out. I already bought the cameras and the mic and the computer, so my comic book budget was completely tapped out. Right, so I had to let the cycle go once. I let it go twice, and the email reminder came to me on the third go, and I had enough funds where I could buy the quantum and woody and the guy was local so the shipping wasn't going to be very much it was in bc right but i checked out the rest of the books that he had right and i liked what i saw so i made him um, i bought i won a couple of them and they were auctioned they weren't buy it now so no one else was bidding on them fantastic for me right and i won a couple and i contacted him and uh, he had some other comics on there that i already that had already gone through the cycle one of them was the quantum and woody right so um because the the other the other lots were coming up before the quantum woody so i contacted him i won a couple of those ones and i and i mentioned about the next comic books coming up quantum woody and the avengers and what he ended up doing is taking the listings off putting them together as one package and putting the original starting price what he had which was 25 dollars for the avengers and the quantum woody lot was 20 so 45 dollars i ended up buying the the other two sets that i wanted right now this is another set that i ended up getting okay sorry about the long-winded little um what do you call it uh sort of rundown of what it is that i ended up getting but i we ended up exchanging a few different emails um just because i really wanted to make sure i got the sets that i wanted to get and he was totally cool with it 
this is the other set that I bought this is the other lot that I bought and I bought this for $30 okay and it's Ed Brubaker's Daredevil run <laughs> right and it's Daredevil number 82 to 119 plus number 500 plus an annual and it's the complete Ed, Ed Brubaker Daredevil one run right so here's number 93 all right and I don't have this either right I've been looking for this and I bought it for $30 Canadian let me tell you what that is in in uh, the US uh, so Daredevil da, 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 da. so with in in US dollars it'd be $24 and it's 39 bucks so basically ended up costing me 62 cents a pop bagged and boarded Ed Brubaker's Daredevil run right fantastic number 92 and Ed Brubaker's huge. I've read some of Ed Brubaker's work. Um, Velvet's uh, Kill or Be Killed, like fantastic series, right? I'm a little bit behind in Kill or Be Killed, uh, but Kill or Be Killed, um, a self-published book he's doing on Image, and uh, and supposed to be there, you know, it's being optioned for TV series or something. I'm not sure. A lot of comic books are being optioned. Like nothing says that they're going to come. Uh, number 89 they're ever going to be made right number 88 look at this the secret life of foggy nelson Ooh, foggy what have you been up to apologies about the glare but it's really uh cloudy outside rainy outside great time to go through a comic book haul video look at this one right. 86 and who does the artwork for this uh, oh I didn't write down the artwork because I'm assuming it's it's not one person does it say on here it should Brubaker Lark uh, Guadino let's see take a look see if you can see the names All right it could be the same person uh, doing the artwork we'll check it All right so basically 39 issues of daredevil for 24 dollars 62 cents a pop and this was uh, actually no this wasn't the lowest price i paid for it uh for one of the lots i got a couple of smaller lots for a little bit better price and this is 82 and it starts off with this one okay at blue breakers run so fantastic the whole thing's not here we'll definitely check to make sure everything's here so let's put this guy on the ground here let's do we'll keep the avengers there let's grab another one let's grab this one i hope everything is going well on the live twitch uh, da, 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 da. there's a place where i can find out how many people are watching but I hope it's all going well. There's a few comments there right now saying hello, 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 guys. So let's open up the bubble wrap again. Let's put this down. Let's make sure the sound is still recording. Okay, okay take this down. Can we open this? Nope. bloodshot box cutter thing <laughs> this thing I've used a lot I thought it was pretty hokey pokey initially to a certain degree but it's a pretty good uh, package opener for comic book hauls anyway which is fantastic which is what we want right okay, let's crack open the bag of this as well. let's see what this one is This is the rest of the Daredevil run, right? Beautiful covers, look at this. I haven't read any of this yet. Okay, Kingpin, look at this one. Beautiful. I'll get rid of the glare for you guys. Okay. 
yeah see the artist has changed now it's aja the inker or the letter i guess is Giardino, Giardino, I don't know the name, but I'm not sure if this is going to zoom in. Maybe you can see it, right? So the artist has changed, and then Lark is back on this one. Okay, fantastic. And one way to, great way to ship comic books is to get them to face each other. Let's see if you can, here, I'll show you. Yeah. see the way he's shipping it so this one and then a comic facing it and then another comic facing the other way so you have the covers facing each other and I believe that's supposed to protect it more and the artist for this one is man this is a beautiful cover I don't know what this is this character at some point I'll do a run on this uh, marathon on this and read it if you know who the character is let me know I don't know what this is. Nice. Oh, Daredevil's got a gun. A machine gun at that. Look at that. So we assume it's Daredevil. We don't know. Right? And here's another artist that's on there. Azateca. As a set, as a teka. So the consistent creator for this is um, Brubaker, right? So I wonder if that's 39 bucks. I don't think so. We'll crack everything open and then uh, what we'll do, we'll crack everything open and then do the count of the comic books to make sure everything's there. Lady Bullseye, that's Lady Bullseye. When did Lady Bullseye, someone in the live stream is mentioning who that character was. This one. Lady Bullseye. I don't know Lady Bullseye. This one. This is Lady Bullseye. Very cool. Should have known with the bullseye on the forehead, right? So is this uh, character new? Or I'm assuming it must have appeared a while ago. Or is it Ed, Ed Brubaker's creation? Actually like this uh, live streaming the comic book haul videos because if I don't know something I can ask you guys and you'll give me the answer which is fantastic that's the beauty of sharing I guess right the learning the learning is the important part of sharing for me anyway let's crack this guy open a little too close to the comic book back I gotta be careful get too excited nice this one just pops out let's take a look ah oh, this is the rest of the uncanny Avengers right take a look and these books look like to be like mint condition all the description um, that he put on the sale items basically um, here let me read you the I haven't shown you that one yet. Here it is. Here's a Daredevil one. This is basically the same style of description he would put on. It says, this auction is for issues number 82 to 119, 500, and annual number one, which covers Ed, Bru Ed Brubaker's complete, complete run on Daredevil. Okay. The issues are in an approximate near mint shape, right? And they were. Okay. Or they are. That's what they look like anyway. And then he's got the Daredevil. So take, take a look. He's got both Daredevil and Uncanny Avengers in this. So let's see. Uncanny Avengers, Uncanny Avengers. Let's do the count on the Uncanny Avengers. I don't think it's 25. Is it going to be 25? No, it's not. It won't be. But here's the rest of the Uncanny Avengers. There's another seven here. Right? Reminders on Canyon Avengers. Very nice. Here's Havoc. Havoc and Scarlet Witch. Look at this. 
I'm guessing this is the full Uncanny Avengers team, which is Rogue, Havoc, Scarlet, which Captain America, Thor, maybe. And Uncanny Avengers has had uh, three volumes, I believe. The second volume got canceled real quick. I think it got canceled after five issues, and there's a third Uncanny Avengers. And here's Daredevil. The covers of Daredevil of this run are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I've looked on eBay for Ed Breedmaker's run for Daredevil. Um, it goes for a lot higher than what I paid, which was, what did I pay for this? Daredevil, $24 US for 39 issues of Ed Brubaker's Daredevil. Wow. Here's issue 500. It's thick, it's double-sized. Look at that. Oh, here's Lady Bullseye again. Check it out. Taking on the Kingpin. What? Nice. Hopefully it's coming out for the live stream as well. If it's not, I'm gonna hold it down a little bit. <laughs> right. Fantastic. Hey, there's multiple stream options. Sweet. That's good. <laughs> I guess it's related to the different angles on the camera, right? Love the multi-camera. Love the multi-camera. Got a few ideas about the multi-camera. How's the sound, guys, uh, for the live stream? Is it coming out okay? It's not too loud? Dante, appreciate it. Let's check out this one. Oh, here's more Daredevil. There's a lot of Daredevil. 39 issues of Daredevil. Sweet, sweet. Look at this, look at this. I might have to bunker down. Oh, look at the 100th issue. That's a double size as well. Show you the Daredevil covers. Okay, take a look at this. Beautiful. Apologies about the glare, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Beautiful. 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 Right. Like seriously. Bagged and boarded, near mint condition. Came out to 62 cents a pop, US. January and February is a good time to buy books on eBay. <laughs> people are dumping. Some people are getting rid of their collections anyway. Look at issue 100, thick. Oh, you got Iron Fist and Luke Cage and Spider-Man in here. Take a look. Sweet. Nice covers, beautiful covers. I'll have to check out the interior pages. Um, nice, nice. Beautiful. Look at that. Who's this? Can't tell who that is on top. cover or something oh Matt I love you so why must you 
slip further away every night. Not even they could see their, their blind love. Look at this. That's totally different than all the other covers. I don't know if that's the regular cover or variant cover. That's Daredevil number 94. Is that supposed to be in the lots? Yeah, it's supposed to be in there. It's Ed Brubaker. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mention him, but it's part of the run. Cool. Very cool. I'm guessing that's almost, that must be all the Daredevils. Let's take a look at these guys. Take off the wrap. Oh. Beautiful. Out of all the comic books I've bought on eBay, and I've bought a lot, I've bought, I've been buying for a long time, right? Uh, only a few people wrap their books like this, which is very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. More people should be wrapping their books like this. Uh, they'd be guaranteed repeat customers as well repeat buyers I would buy that from people selling like this for sure you something that I've shown you before okay and as far as I'm concerned this was one of the most important comic book uh, minis that came out in uh, I believe it's 2007 I don't think it's 2006 it might have started in 2006 but this is black by black mask comics okay and I've shown you the set before I have this set I have multiple coffee copies of a couple of the issues right here's number one okay and the concept is what if only black people uh, had superpowers right so this is issue number one and this is very relevant hands up right and the creators of this are I gotta pronounce the names uh, Kowan Joe I can't pronounce the names I'm sorry uh, on the on the front here it says Eagle Randolph lit Riggs stern sharp um, Tim Smith 3 is one of the creators Ashley A. Woods variant covers I believe Tim Smith 3 is yeah Tim Smith and the writer for this is Kowanja Osojito and Jamal Ingle does the covers I believe no sorry the Khan Ren Rudolph does the covers and he did some of the covers for um, we are Robin as well some of the work for we are Robin as well um, I bought the black number one solely for the cover very interesting comic yeah this cover for someone just mentioned that they bought the first issue just because of the cover as did I right I was following them I've been following black mask I've been getting a fair bit of comics from them I like the independence right Lion Forge Black Mask uh, Action Labs uh, Valiant for sure right so I've been buying a lot but I picked up a two or three covers of this when it came out because I thought it was brilliant and then the cover for number two came out and when it came out I bought five copies of this and I bought a couple of sets since then on eBay in my personal opinion this is one of the most important comic book covers in comic book history most definitely for our time since the turn of the century okay 
someone's bowing out we'll have to watch it later as i am working in london thanks for the stream my, my pleasure brother hope you had a nice little break from work okay but this is one of the most important covers in my opinion okay and if you want to know how important this cover is you need to check out um, uh, billy holiday's strange fruit the song the lyrics the story behind that song okay how that song came to be nino simone did a version of this strange fruit that's how i got exposed to it first and then i found billy holiday afterwards right nino simone's version of strange fruit is it blew it blows me away i think it's one of the most her most powerful songs okay and um, from there if you if you're still interested and check into how billy holiday died uh what the u.s government did to billy holiday how they made sure she died okay it's important it should be taught in history classrooms across the united states right but there's also a documentary i believe it's called eyes on the prize it's a 12 hour or seven hour documentary that is well worth watching i mentioned it before okay if you want to get the meaning of this cover very important very important and i will continue to buy sets of black from black mass studios if i can get them on a fantastic price right at a good price and this is an important cover as well very very important cover okay take a look at this one donkey kong <laughs> like cover for number three like yeah, you know, I'll let you read the read the words. Uh, let's see if you can get a nice read on that, right? Right? Thug. Remember when they were called thugs? People were called thugs. Children were called thugs. Crazy. Stay woke beautiful powerful powerful this is cover for number five right tattooed on the fingers of the person holding the bars is stay woke right this is an american flag upside down implying um, uh, distress right powerful 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 i'm gonna put these up on the wall okay so this set i ended up getting black number one to six in near mint condition from black mask comics i paid 15 dollars canadian which is 12 dollars us for six comics and it cost me two dollars a pop and these comics two dollars a pop were more than double the price almost triple the price of any of the the most expensive of the other ones right so i paid the most for this set okay from black mass studios and i would gladly pay the same price again for this set and i've read the first three issues of this i haven't finished the whole thing yet um, i have a lot of comic books that are uh, a lot of sets that i still need to finish and maybe during the summer we'll do a we'll do a catch-up session right now as i mentioned the reason i was able to get my hands on these books was because a notice came to me regarding the quantum and woody comic book lot right so i bought a quantum and woody comic book lot and it cost me 20 dollars canadian which is 16 dollars us and it contained quantum let me pull it up okay Quantum of Woody, Quantum of Woody, Quantum of Woody, where are you? Oh yeah, here we go. So it contained Quantum of Woody, the 2013 series from issue number 0 to 12. It contained Quantum of Woody Must Die, number 1 to 4. And it contained Q2, the return of Quantum of Woody, 
by priests, by the original creators of Quantum Amuri in the first volume, right? And this is the Quantum Amuri, uh, the return of Quantum Amuri, okay? This is issue number five. And this is by Priest and Bright, Mark Bright, I believe. Is it Mark Bright? Yeah, Christopher Priest and Mark Bright. Okay, and they're the original creators of Quantum and Woody. This is number five. This is number four. I haven't read this one. I read the series, the 12 issue series from uh, 2013. I haven't read this one. And Quantum and um, Woody Must Die, I don't think I've read it. I'll have to take a look at it to make sure I haven't read it or I read it or whatnot, right? This is number three. Here's number two. Okay. And here's number one. And a new Quantum and Woody series just started. I think it's two issues deep. Right. So this is by Priest and Bright, the creators of Quantum and Woody. Fantastic. Right. And here is uh, Quantum Witty number zero. I read this, it was fun, right? And this is from the 2013 series, okay? And this came out after uh, Q2, Quantum Witty Must Die, I believe, anyway. I hope so, anyway. Okay, let's crack another one. So those ones, uh, as far as comic book haul go, they cost me $16. And in that lot was 22 books. So it ended up costing me uh, 73 cents a pop, bagged and boarded in near mint condition. From what was listed, I'll check them, but these comics look fantastic. package man and this guy only had uh, on his uh, on his feedback on eBay he only has like 62 feedback like he's you know he's not a huge seller every now and then he sells I guess I didn't check to see what else he had sold uh, but I'm glad I got my hands on this I bought everything he had listed when I started talking with him and making the offers Prison Industrial System, was that one of the things that was mentioned on black? Prison Industrial Complex, yeah. Quantum of Woody, number one. Okay. Number two. This series is hilarious. Really, so funny. This was my first exposure to Quantum of Woody. I hadn't, and I haven't yet read The Priest uh, run yet the first series the first volume that came out but as soon as I started reading this I could not believe how funny it was it blew me away right it was at par with the 2012 Archer and Armstrong series right? and that's a fantastic series these look like fantastic copies like the coat. <laughs> this is so funny. So funny. Still cracks me up. Still cracks me up. I might give this another go. I don't remember it too much. And that was, when did it come out? 2013? I guess in three years, four years. I totally forgot what was going on at the end been reading a lot of comic books this is from reservoir dogs of course right i don't know if it's the variant cover or the the regular cover but this is from reservoir dogs i saw reservoir dogs at university in a little small theater blew people away when we saw it nice quantum of witty number 12 and this is number five out of order 
all new arc must read Valiant. Right? That's the quantum and witty. You know what? Since we got the quantum and witty, let's do the count for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Okay. So that's there. And the number zero we had already we saw. up nice let me show you this one too now this one i've heard about i've been you know it's hit my radar a little bit but i haven't i don't know too much about it uh, but i've heard great things and the covers look for you beautiful let me show you this i don't know anyone that's read this so i can't comment on it uh, and i haven't looked up the reviews because i usually don't look up the reviews this is, um, is the artist's name there? Yeah, so, Jim Zubotsky. So this is Wayward, okay? I bought the Wayward set, uh, seven issues, right? And I ended up buying this <laughs> Wayward number one to seven, uh, $5 Canadian, $4 US, right? Seven books, ended up costing 57 cents a pop, near mint condition, bagged and boarded right and the writer for this is uh jim zub zabowski i believe that's his name uh or zabovich okay so jim zub <laughs> right and stephen cummings okay and jim zub i've uh, i made a note here i didn't he didn't i remember seeing his name for some reason i was connecting him with invader zim I guess it's because of his name being Z starting, but Jim Zub, uh, he did Samurai Jack as well. And Samurai Jack I was reading. So that's probably the reason I recognize his name. But Wayward Set, number one to seven, right? Jim Zub Wayward, yeah. Wayward is a great series. Awesome. Someone on the live stream is mentioning that Wayward is a great series. Looking forward to reading this, man. Looking forward to reading this. And I can't believe, like, just the price I was getting these like and the covers for these look beautiful the cover for number three is absolutely fantastic All right. does the series end I don't know if the series I think it's a continuing series from because I've seen it recently I believe on the shelves or in the last few months anyway so this is supposed to be a continuing series from what I understand but this is a beautiful cover look at this absolutely fantastic All right and this is, I believe, being looked into uh, to create a animated series, TV series for this, right? That's one reason it hit my radar. Okay, it's ongoing. Someone's mentioning. Fantastic. I'll definitely give these a give these a read. Uh, and if I like it, I'm gonna track down the rest. I think it must be into the twenties at least, number wise. And this is Image Comics, right? Like there's a few few different publishers that are just killing, killing the comic book industry. Um, DC for sure is one of them with the Rebirth. They're doing a fantastic job. But Image, Valiant, Black Mask, right? Action Labs. Uh, there are some amazing comic books being put out there, right? So Wayward, number one to seven. 
Nice buy, nice buy. Very happy to have this. I always like uh, getting sets on the cheap as well, for sure. Any sets on the cheap, but sets that I haven't read that are still ongoing, the early issues that I might delve into, right? Now, here's another set that I picked up. Is let me put them in order. Doop, doop. Men of Wrath number one to five by Jason Aaron he's the writer okay and who's the artist for this does it say oh yeah Jason Aaron and Ron Garney okay and I ended up buying this for five dollars as five issues five dollars Canadian so four dollars US ended up costing 80 cents a pop right and this is a mini series this is completed okay issue number one just put it like this here's issue number two and Jason Aaron wrote the uh, Southern Bastards if I'm not mistaken I believe so Southern Bastards Southern Bastards must be okay here's issue number three powerful I've seen some kind of cover like this on Daredevil before with the stained glass in the background with bullseye and stuff number four and number five nice 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 fun buys excellent buys excellent buys we got two more to open up I've got the Game of Thrones comic books. I picked up the first couple of issues. Might not be what you're into, but you're a damn good series. Hedge Knight Game of Thrones comic books. I've got the first, uh, I got a few copies of the uh, issue number one, the variants as well, of uh, the Game of Thrones comic books. Um, I didn't read them, I just bought them because I liked the series, the, uh, the Netflix series. Okay. Ah, here we go. Okay, let me put these guys in order. They're all facing each other. Oh, sweet. That's them. That's them. Okay, sweet. So it's a good read, eh? The Game of Thrones comics? Uh, maybe I should start reading it. I love the series. And the covers, I just wanted to get the, get the comic books when they came out, right? Just have it in my collection. And let me show you these guys here. So this is the Quantum of Woody Must Die. Okay. The rest of the Quantum Woody set, right? Number one. Here's number two. Hypnosis. I haven't, I don't think I've read this one. It's not ringing a bell. I've bought it, I've picked it up, but I don't think I read it. Here's number three. And here's number four. So the quantum of Woody stuff is there. We got all of them, and here's the rest of the Uncanny Avengers. Nice. Here's issue one, right? So there is one, two, three, four, another eight of them here. Okay, and here's number one. If you're looking for the, because it was a few different sets, I couldn't. That's issue number one for the Uncanny Avengers, the first volume with uh, Reminder. And it goes all the way up to issue number two and T5. But we'll do a final count. Okay, let's just crack this open. And which one is this one? Where is this thing? And 
and for sure after uh, cracking these open uh, one one thing I'm going to do I'm going to just pick two books randomly two or three books randomly and open them up to make sure they're near mint condition because everything he listed was in supposed to be in near mint condition and then I'm going to get on eBay and leave this guy phenomenal feedback phenomenal feedback right fantastic job what a nice guy do this check it out there we go oh yeah <laughs> i don't know this one so sweet totally forgot about this one this is uh and i know the writer uh for this i've read some books from him right he's written a lot of the writer for this has written a lot of deadpool and he's done um, oh, something independent that I was recently reading. I can't remember. But the writer for this is um, uh, Colin Bunn, right? And it's the Fearless Defenders. Okay. And it's the full set. There should be, there should be 12 of them. Let's check it out. So Fearless Defenders, number 1 to 12, Colin Bunn. Um, and the artist for this i wrote it down here is will sinley okay and this lot i bought ridiculously cheap i bought five dollars canadian four dollars us right so 12 comics bagged and boarded for four dollars 33 cents a pop right here's number 12. i don't know how good this is um Colin is, um, I've read some of his stuff before. Nothing that, has, that I can recall that has blown me away, right? Uh, there's so many people writing Deadpool. Can't remember who wrote which Deadpool, right? That's one of the problems of uh, a character being written by so many people in so short of a period. And this is about, uh, I believe it's a Defenders team that's all female, female cast. Uh, I didn't know about it. I hadn't heard about it. Okay. And do we have the date when this first came out? Um, the date's not on here, and I didn't write it down. Sorry. Apologies. Not giving you all the info uh, of the comic books. That comic book haul is about finding treasures and finding things you may like and stuff doing a little search as well right so that's a good thing this is number five let me put these guys down so they don't fall on me here's number four. Oh, sorry this is number oh there's a variant cover au Number four AU. I guess it's an alternate variant cover. Yeah. That's cool. He hadn't listed that on there. Maybe he had a <laughs> description. Four dollars for I guess thirteen comics. Nice. The Fearless Defenders. Number three. Fearless Defenders, number two. And Fearless Defenders, number one. Right. Okay, and those are, that's the comic book haul, right? Let's do a count because these ones, they came in different packages. Make sure we got them all. This is the Uncanny Avengers. It should be 26 books, right? And it looks to be 26 as far as uh, this many goes right so let's count it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven we've got twenty seven i'm not sure why we have twenty seven but like the fearless defenders they might have been an alternate variant that he included in here Okay, I'll check it later, maybe put them in order. Before I put them in a box, at least these guys will be in order. 
right? And let's take out the Daredevil. Let's see how many we got. Okay, Daredevils. We need uh, the Ed Brubaker Daredevil. There should be 39 issues here. Okay, there's a couple of comments on on the live stream so i'm just going to read those uh, i wish remember didn't leave marvel uh, but he's killing it on image yeah i agree with you i you know what um i'm glad i'm personally glad that he left marvel because i wasn't reading marvel really just randoms so i'm glad he went to image and he's creating his own stuff deadly class tokyo goes was absolutely fantastic right and seven to eternity that's right you're mentioning seven to eternity i've been picking up seven to eternity but i haven't been reading it and seven to eternity is supposed to be phenomenal right issue number one is so hard so expensive to find uh there's two different uh, covers the one with like a star wars pose that they have is very expensive to find it's crazy uh are you talking about harrow county that's right Harrow County is Colin Bunn. Thank you very much for that. Uh, I've read some Harrow County and it was very good, very good. I just wasn't into that type of story, so I didn't continue it. But that's the one that's where he sticks uh, in my mind. That's right. Thank you very much for that. I was like, wait a second. He's done something that I've read that I liked. Okay. Uh, as far as the Daredevil goes, we need to have 39 of these, I believe. 39, 39. One, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine right twenty nine let me put these back so they don't fall out of my hand Twenty-nine, right? 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. They must have included a couple of <laughs> variants in this, right? <laughs> so there's 41. If I had my spreadsheet, I'd, I just took an image of it. If I had the spreadsheet um, open right now, active right now, I'd change the numbers and see the prices per unit drop a little bit, right? Fun stuff. So in total, basically, we bought 117 books. Okay. It came out to $105 Canadian, $84 US, right? So 117 books for $84 US came out to 72 cents a pop. The shipping was expensive. The shipping cost me $36.91 Canadian, which came out to $29.53 US, right? So $30 US, right? So total came out shipping included 142 dollars canadian which comes out to 113.50 us for 117 bucks which comes out to 97 cents a pop bagged and boarded near mint condition delivered right guaranteed delivered in a nice package less than dollar a pop so it's like a dollar bin buy right but very good condition fantastic runs Right in dollar bins, you usually don't find complete runs of things. You find randoms, right? Great buy to start the 2018 year, right? Very, very happy to get this. Very happy to get this, um, and very happy to do a comic book haul video. It's been a while. It's been a while, and I was itching to do it, but I definitely hit my budget, right? Regarding stuff that I was getting for this work that i'm doing right with the equipment camera mic and definitely the laptop right that put a serious dent in my yearly budget right and we definitely need to have a budget when we're living our lives and stuff right and um, this thing these books i'm very happy to have in my collection ended up getting a great deal and i'm uh, gonna do some readings i'm gonna do some nice readings i might decrease my pull list a little bit until i catch up with some of these reads and then start picking up my pull list at my local comic shop again but i definitely have stuff that i will continue to buy uh always always so far anyway never say always i guess with comic books but i will continue to buy for the foreseeable future some image titles for sure all the valiance black mask for sure action labs a lion for some of the stuff that they're doing and whatnot right lots of great independent books out there lots of 
fantastic books coming out by the big two as well okay uh, that's it for now guys I hope you enjoyed the video um, we have a lot of things planned for 2018 uh, I hope it will be a nice ride I hope you'll enjoy and um, I guess I'll definitely see you guys in the next video bye for now